Hello, this is Faimi, and in this video, I will show you how to counter all the unit types in Rome 2. So, spears, swords, and axes, but also how to counter elephants, spikes, chariots, and cavalry. I want to first show you guys how to beat the spear units, but I only want to focus at the elite spears and the freer spears, because the rest of the spear units can just be beaten by swords or axes. So, for the elite spears, you gotta think of the Royal Spartans, Heroes of Sparta, Illyrian Noble Hoplites, and the Picked Hoplites. Those are the strongest and most cost effective ones in the game. They are all really tanky with 100 plus armor, together with high melee defense and decent attack. Stats. So how should you counter them? Well, Pila is the best answer. Even though they got a lot of armor, Pila has a lot of armor piercing damage. On average, an elite hoplite can tank around 8 Pila volleys. And at that point, the unit will be pretty much useless. And that brings us to the next unit, which is the Freer Spears. Actually, all the units in the game which have 5 Pila volleys. You can pause it if you want to take a closer look. So let's say the Freer Spears, for example. How do you want to counter them if you can't get in combat with them? Well, you basically got to minimize the damage you get. So that means don't show your sights while you're fighting, especially the non-shoot side. How can you do that? There are two options. You can reform your unit by going into shield wall and put the unit a little bit inside the unit that you're fighting so the first spears don't have an angle on you to throw it. And the other option is get into formation attack. I don't say this often because formation attack often screw you up but this can help you not surround the other unit that you're fighting so you can't get peel out in the side or backs. The next unit which looks similar to the spear units are the pikemen. As everyone knows you can't fight pikes head on because then you will lose 9 out of 10 times. So what you got to do with pikemen is you gotta or focus it down with your archers, pelt or slingers or you will have to use your freer spears or your units with two pila rounds in your army to focus down the pikes the third option is to beat a weaker pike with a stronger pike but what my favorite option is just to avoid the pike try and take another avenue or make sure you surround it the next unit will be the elephants i often see in multiplayer battles that people don't know how to deal with elephants there are a few simple tricks that you can use against elephants the first one is to make sure you shoot fire ammo rounds at the elephants this will make sure they get berserk and if you can do that behind the enemy lines the elephants can kill friendly units Units. If that's already too late and the elephant is charging at your units, make sure you have a unit standing in shoot wall in front of your archers or first spears, because this will absolutely block the elephants from charging through your units. And while you have the elephant stuck in your shoot wall, you can throw pila with your first spears or shoot standard rounds into the elephants, because standard rounds will make sure they die faster, because standard rounds do more damage than fire rounds. Furthermore, our pikes and Thracian warriors also a good counter against elephants. All of these counters are the same for chariots, but chariots are even more vulnerable to missile fire, and especially pila. The next unit will be Thracian nobles. Thracian nobles are in the top 3 best units in the game. You cannot kill them effectively with elephants, chariots or other infantry units in the game. The only two units that will probably win are the pikemen and the royal spartans because of the expert charge bonus and the high melee defense. So therefore you got to kill them with their one weakness. Their armor is very low so you will have to focus them down with pila and missiles. And that will bring us to the next unit, the missile units. Those are archers, slingers and peltas. Slingers beat archers in a 1v1. Peltas will beat slingers and archers in a 1v1 as long as they are in range. But archers are the most flexible unit because it can shoot at nearly everything because archers can arc their shots over buildings. So how do you counter them? Well, if you have stronger archers than your enemy, just beat them with your own archers. But if you don't have archer dominance as a team or individually, so you got weaker archers than your enemy, you have to focus on shooting infantry with your archers. This forces the enemy's stronger archers to shoot also your infantry, which will be beneficial for you because you spend less on your archers and most of the archers got around the same missile damage. Because when you spend more money on a stronger and more expensive archer, you'll mostly get more armor, longer range, better melee combat skills, and a little bit extra damage. So when you're tanking the enemy shots, you gotta minimize the losses. So you should always try to show your shooter side to the enemy. Let's now talk about swords and axes. Swords are overall more cost effective than axes. Axes have more armor piercing damage, but swords have more damage overall. The only axe units that are worth bringing are the mercenary mascot marauders and the cardly axemen. If we're starting to look at the cavalry, there are three different unit types. Shock calf, melee calf, and horse archers. Shock calf will win or do better against infantry. Melee calf will win against shock calf and horse archers will win against all the cavalry because if you micro the horse archers well, the melee calf and the shock calf won't be able to kill them because horse archers are faster than melee and shock calf so they can shoot while running away. So how do you counter horse archers? The first option is counter it with your own horse archers and if you don't have them, use your archers or slingers to counter them because they have usually more range than the horse archers. So when they come in range, you can get that first shot off and then you will win eventually. And if you want to counter shock cavalry, which is more an anti-infantry unit, you have to try and get a pila volley off with your infantry. And that will do a ton of damage because most of the shock cavalry are pretty low armor. Not counting the cataphracts of course. 
And the second option is get a melee cavalry engaged with the shock calf. 9 out of 10 times the melee calf will win because they have a bonus versus cavalry. And then there's the question how do you counter melee cavalry? So melee cavalry are strong against other cavalry. They are overall pretty heavily armored so horse archers won't do too much damage against them but eventually they will die to horse archers. But overall you don't really have to counter them. You just have to protect your archers or missiles from them. Because if a melee cavalry charges head on your infantry it won't do much damage. So just make sure to protect your archers well and just counter it with your own melee cavalry. I'm pretty sure we now mentioned every single unit or category in the game but if I missed a unit that you don't know how to counter let me know in the comments and I will explain in the comments how to counter. And if you found this video helpful make sure to watch this video where I will give you 10 tips how to become a better player in Rome 2. So see you guys there bye bye.